Morning lovelies, so I was just out on my walk and I saw this beautiful tree and it's absolutely loaded with flowers and it was glorious with the sun shining through at the back and I just wanted to share it with you. But really out on my walks, I see loads and loads of beautiful flowers in these little neglected gardens and regardless of that, they just seem to flower on beautifully, lovely bushes. And, you know, traditionally, I've always just come home and dried my flowers, you know, in little bits of paper like this. Between books, you forget they're there, you find them months later, and then sort of the art inspiration has passed. So I wanted to do something that dried the flowers quicker. So let's see what I got up to. Okay, so what does a microwave, a posy of flowers, and some kitchen tissue have in common. So this is an old microwave. I'll have you know I'm not using my one in the kitchen. I've set this up in the laundry. Let's see if we can dry some flowers in the microwave. Let's get started. Again, we'll do 30 second bursts. And this is an 800 watt uh, microwave, by the way. Okay, let's see how they went. Yeah, so the first 30 seconds seems to get all the moisture out. Can you see all the moisture around the tissue? And then it needs another 30 seconds. Some of them might need longer, but these seem to only need another 30 seconds. And they're done. Bye.
but he's very interested in what's going on. He keeps going around and around me to see what I'm doing with the microwave. All right, let's have a look at these now. All right, I'm gonna take them out and have a look through on the bench. Okay, so these are done as well, look. I mean, that's not a perfect flower, obviously. I do like how this one's turned out. It's sort of got that wild look about it. But these were just flowers I gleaned off the side of the road. But they've dried out perfectly and you can now do Mod Podge over the top of them. All right, so let's do some more. All right, so this one is a wild orchid that I just picked up and I'm gonna cut the stem off and I'm gonna have a go at that one. Now orchids are very fragile, so I'll do it in 30 second bursts again and see how we go. Cut the stem off first. Taking my time to just make sure the middle of the flower is laid out really flat in there. And then I'm gonna put the paper over the top. I'm not sure how the other leaves will dry because see how they're up? Anyway, let's do a bit of an experiment and just have a little look. So we'll try 30 again. Let's have a look. Ah, okay, so it's dried down quite a bit. And I'm guessing at this stage, you have to just delicately, delicately, sorry, lay the flowers out again, flat, like that, because the drying process has started. All right, and then go back in and try again. Another 30. Look at what's going on. Yeah, still got moisture in it, so I'm going to put it back in again. And this time I'm going to do it in 15 second bursts. So, one, five. Let's have a look. So, this is kind of strange, but it's dried. There we go. All right, let's take it out and have a little look. And that is going to look just beautiful under Mod Podge. So yeah, these purple ones, I can still smell them. They smell beautiful. Geraniums, there's the orchid. And I think these are a type of geranium as well. They've all just dried so beautifully. seconds okay well they're pretty well done yep okay. now I'm going to show you what happens when they're done too long look this one's gone white that one's gone white it's too dried out but these two have retained their colors Well, I think I can safely say that they are a huge success. So now to make some art with them. Wow, I just love these. Really, really happy with them.